to uh, to Senator Wells, followed by Senator McDonald. Senator Wells. Thank you, Chair, and uh, thank you, Ambassador, for uh, appearing today and for for serving uh, Canada in uh, in Ukraine. Um, we've uh, recently, I was in Warsaw and Vilnius. Uh, and heard from senior relevant ministers that now is not the time to take the foot off the gas with respect to uh, <clears throat> with respect to uh, with respect to the war. They are they feel very uh, they feel very vulnerable and threatened and and in fact in many ways are on the front line as well. Uh, today, Estonian uh, Prime Minister Kallis said, "Please give all you can with respect to weapons." Um, I was in Lublin recently, which is the refugee processing center in, in Poland. Uh, I met with school teachers who are teaching Ukrainian kids, and we said, what are the things you need? And we were thinking, you know, exercise books and, and pencils, and uh, their answer was, was weapons, weapons, weapons. Um, and we've heard from Canadian relevant, relevant Canadian ministers that Canada is giving all it can, uh, recognizing, obviously, the importance of cold weather clothing and, and uh, the obvious importance of that. What is Canada's position on giving um, light armored vehicles, uh, artillery, and other things that we may have in surplus? Thanks for the question, Senator Wells. Um, anyone you ask, what do they need? We'll say weapons. Um, you hear this from human rights activists, from mothers, from school teachers, um, uh, and from every single government official, no matter what their portfolio. They need the weapons. Um, Canada's announcement the other day of another $500 million, uh, for disbursement uh, this year is going to be spent on the things that Ukraine needs. We do not dream up uh, w uh, the, the, the donations uh, that, that we're going to make. Um, the system for, ide for Ukraine identifying uh, and prioritizing what they need is actually quite well honed now. Uh, at the beginning, as you can imagine, it was, um, it was, there was chaos. Um, it is well honed, uh, led by uh, the Americans out of Ramstein, and we're a full active participants in that. So when the government announces uh, new funding and a new contribution to lethal aid for Ukraine, uh, we have lists we can go to. We know what is readily available. And whether it's in Canada or elsewhere, I think best efforts are going to be made, really best efforts are going to be made to get Ukrainians uh, what they need. Um, on top of the list, of course, is, uh, is air defense. Um, but like you said, uh, armored vehicles are also really important. And the 39 armored combat support vehicles that are going to be arriving these days in Ukraine are really important. And I think that we'll see more of the same. Thank you.